Barreling down the highway, wheeling right along. Hear the tires humming, humming out a song. The rumble of the diesel, the shifting of the gears. The rhythm when he's rolling, his music to his ears. Cannonball! time of day when the rig is ready he'll be on his way he'll carry any cargo he'll go anywhere name the destination and brother he'll be there cannonball cannonball Wake up. What? Hmm? Sky flagging the star. That looks like Ed Reinhardt's rig. It looks like he's hurt. Off the road, I'll get him in the cab. gash in his temple. Let's get him to a hospital right away. It's bad. I'm afraid we can't tell you much of anything, Sergeant. He keeled over before he could say anything. He was still unconscious when we got here. No signs of an accident? Didn't notice anything. The truck wasn't banged up. No, I drove the truck off the road. Worked fine. What do you boys make of him? Well, I figure he was slugged. Oh, that reminds me. When I parked the truck. I found this. Join the Independent Truckers Protective Association. I never heard of it. You know what it sounds like? Shakedown. Protection racket. Right. You mean Reinhardt was beat up because he wouldn't pay protection? Could be. The cut was just superficial. He'll be right out. Thank you, miss. Hi, Ed. Oh, hi, Mike. Thanks a lot for bringing me in. You too, Jerry. Oh, sure. Uh, how you feeling, though? Oh, well, groggy, but I'll be all right. Oh, uh, Ed, uh, this is Sergeant Evans and Corporal Harmon. Oh, I don't need the police. I'm all right. Sure you are. Just tell us what happened. Nothing happened. Just had an accident, that's all. What kind of an accident? Uh, what happened to my rig? Uh, Jerry drove it off on the shoulder. Ed wants to tell the sergeant just what happened. All you can do for me if you want to is just run me back to my truck. Sure, I'll run you back. But first, who slugged you? Who said I got slugged? You certainly didn't get that playing gin rummy. Are you going to run me back or not? Sure, we'll take you back. Um, what's this? How should I know? Look, Ed, why don't you level with us? We're just trying to help you. Look, you helped me, you brought me here, you got me fixed up. Now, that's all. No, it isn't, Ed. You can't kid Mike and I about an accident. They beat you up because you wouldn't pay protection. Look, Jerry, you're a nice guy. Mike's a nice guy, too. Let's leave it that way. 
I'll try to get him to talk on the way back to his truck, but I'm afraid it's impossible. He's scared. Yeah, they usually are after a beating. That's how these protection rackets survive. He figures if he opens up now, the next time he'll end up dead. And he very well might. Well, Sergeant, is there anything we can do? Well, you probably run into a lot of truckers. You might nose around and see what you can pick up. I want to know how widespread this thing is. Let me know if you learn anything. We will. We'll stop off at Pete's place for a coffee break. Maybe some of the boys will be there. Mike? I don't think this is our cup of tea. What do you mean? Well, I, I mean, I really don't think it's any of our business. We're not independent. What's that got to do with it? You like to see people pushed around? Oh, now you know I don't. Busting a racket is a job for the police. Who's busting it? You heard what the sergeant said. Nose around, see if you can pick up in it. Yeah, I know. That's how it starts. Before you can say boo, we're right in the middle. I never would have believed it. Well, now, Mike, don't get me wrong. If I thought we could do anything, I'd be the first one in there. You know that. I used to know it. You still know it. We'll see. Just coffee. We're running late. Oh, fresh donuts just got him in. All right. How about you, Joe? Last time I had his fresh donuts, I couldn't walk for a week. Hmm. Wise guy. <laughs> well, what's new, Moose? Same old grind, Mike. Uh, I want to ask you a question. And I want an honest answer. Sure. Moose, what is the Independent Truckers Protective Association? Well, forget it, Mike. Thanks, Pete. I want to know what it is. I say forget it. Pete, grab me another one. They stopped Ed Reinhardt on the road, worked him over. If we hadn't found him, he might have bled to death. That's his business. I got my own problems. You'll make it worse for yourself if you knuckle under to these racketeers. Don't put words in my mouth, Mike. You asked me a question, I said forget it. So forget it. You still hunt a lot, Moose? Off and on. You got a deer this year? No. I was calling down south, so I missed most of the season. Moose, if everybody crawls to these rats, this thing will spread. How much, Pete? Uh, let me see. You get a hamburger, two coffees, make it 50 even. Thanks, Moose. Take it easy, Mike. So long, Cherry. So long, Moose. Hi, Moose. Glad to see you waiting for us. What's eating him? He's got his Irish up. Yeah. 
Boost. You change your mind? How about some hot coffee? That's a good idea. No, let's roll. We can find somebody down the road with guts enough to talk. How much, Pete? Uh, two bits. You only ate one donut. I got a feeling he's heading for trouble. Not if I can help it. I'll see you. Yeah. I'll come right home after the show. Don't stay to see it a second time. Going to see Ed Reinhardt. I'll go with you. No, Jerry, I don't think so. I, I think I'll get further with him if I talk to him alone. Well, what can he tell you? Just a couple of hoods beat him up? Well, I don't know what he can tell me. Whatever it is, I'll know more than I know now. I'll be back soon. It's on uh, June Street. Michael out? Let's see Ed Reinhardt. That's all we picked up this morning. Jerry, don't you think Mike's getting too involved in this thing? Well, I did at the beginning. Now I'm not sure. Things like this have a tendency to spread. They the Wildcatters. Or it could be any one of us. Bother you, but... You're not going to bother me. I got nothing to say to you or the cops or anyone else. Ed, don't you remember when your rig ran wild, Jerry and I? Yeah, you saved my life. So now I'm trying to save yours. Well, don't worry about me. Just think how far this thing can go if somebody doesn't stop it. You know, you were lucky. You just got a gash on your head. Look, I'm not standing here arguing with you. After all, if you want to stay healthy, keep out of it. If you want to get your lumps, do like you're doing. That's all.
How stupid can you be? We heard to tell him. Get him out of here. Oh, wait a minute. You better take him home or that partner his will be nosing around. He lives at 40 Stanley Street. Leave him at the door, ring the bell, and beat it. Let's drag him out. Something very interesting. The use of parametric amplifiers in optoelectronics. Ask a silly question. I'll get it. Tell you all about it. Jerry, get on the phone. Call Sergeant Evans. Tell him to meet us at 64 June Street in 30 minutes. Bring a couple of guys with him. Now, Mary, there's not the crowd. How could you do a thing like that? Please, of course. I had to, honey. It was the only way. Now, come on, let's have a cup of coffee. I'll tell you all about it. I figured they both had guns, so I went down fast and stayed down. They thought I was out cold. Suddenly, I heard Ed Reinhardt's voice, and he was bawling him out. Suddenly, I realized that he's the boss. I played dead, and he told him to bring me back here. All that big action on the road, gash in his head, even the card in the front of the truck. Sure. Who'd suspect him after that? Mike, do you think you could have made a mistake, maybe? What do you mean, a mistake? Well, you said one of the goons slugged you. Yeah. Well, you might have been out a few minutes. Just thought you heard Reinhardt. Oh, come on now, Jerry. He kneeled beside me, turned me over. You think I dreamed them bringing me back here in the car and dumping me out? No, I guess not. It's hard to believe. Come on, we've got to go. Mike, you'll be careful, dear. I will, honey. Besides, I'll have the police with me this time. <laughs> We want to see it through. All right, let's stay out of the way.
down and check on Brody. Brody got slugged, but he's okay. How'd Reinhardt catch him off guard? It wasn't Reinhardt. It was that guy we saw going downstairs. I, I'm sorry. I never saw that fellow before. Well, it's done. You two boys go on home. I'll get a pickup out for Reinhardt. But remember, you're our only evidence of Reinhardt behind all this. So stay healthy. You, uh, heard what the man said. Yeah, I heard what he said. Hey, home all in one piece. Yeah, we're going to keep them that way. <laughs> What's the matter, Mary? You to stay out of this, Mike. I gave you every break. You wouldn't listen. You had to go and put your nose in where it didn't belong. Hey, put that gun away. Let's talk this over. It's too late for talk. Take the missus upstairs, Jerry. Mike and I are going out. And you're crazy. So I'm crazy. Go on. And don't figure on using the phone. It won't get you nowhere. Mike's not leaving this house. Mary, please. He's not leaving this house. Mary. You heard me. Don't come no closer, lady. I'm warning you. I don't want to hurt you, Mr. Malone. My beef is with Mike. Nobody else. I told you to stay out of this, Mike. I gave you every break. You wouldn't listen. You had to go and put your nose in where it didn't belong. All right. Mary, call Sergeant Evans at headquarters. I, uh, I think Jenny's right. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> Destination and brother, he'll be there. 